When I started looking into it, I became the most passionate and ardent self-advocate in the hopes that I could become sheriff because I saw an opportunity to turn people's lives around. Middlesex County is uh, one of the top 25 largest counties uh, in the country. It's comprised of 54 cities and towns. It's 1.6 million people. What's really important though is in this county, um, the 54 cities and towns range from several urban communities to numerous suburban communities as well as rural communities. So quite honestly, um, it's almost a microcosm of America itself. Many of the other major counties are simply large urban communities. Um, and here we have a little mixture of what makes the entire country urban, suburban, and rural all in one county. The opioid epidemic in Middlesex County is ravaging individuals, families, and communities. But it's not just in Middlesex County, it's across Massachusetts, and indeed it's across the nation. I think what we found in law enforcement and as a sheriff that you can't incarcerate your way um, into recovery or out of addiction. Um, we have taken a different tact. We have taken a model that will help treat the addiction while giving them many of the other tools they need to be successful. What we have found is that drug-free equals crime-free. If we can pe keep people off of drugs, they will stay out of crime, and that's really valuable. But also, drug-free equals being alive because the overdose death rate in Middlesex County um, is terrible as it is across the country. We have to medically detox 42% of the population in our jail when they come in from the street and 76% of that is for opioids uh, or opioid poly substance. This is something that's impacting so many individuals and families and ruining their lives and then in so often the case sadly taking their lives. This is a place where sheriffs and, uh, and corrections can see a window of opportunity while they're with us to prepare them for re-entry. But very importantly, society needs to step in and support them through that re-entry. We can do all the work on the inside and pass them to the outside, but the fact is when they get out there, you've got to have something out there. And that's where, with our program in Middlesex, we have a navigator who then walks with them almost literally from while the time while they're inside our facility to walking through the door on the way out of our facility and then continues to walk with them through their journey into recovery. If they can get the resources before they have to come to us and then very importantly once we do our job inside and pass them off outside to give them the resources they need to be successful in their re-entry that's what we need most of all. So we can do a great job inside places of incarceration, and I believe we do. We're, we're innovating, we're driving, we're collecting data, we're creating best practices, but society has to do its part, both in order to stop people coming to our facilities, and then once they leave our facilities, to support them so they don't then return back to our facilities at the same time. What motivates me is the fact that I get to help people turn their lives around. This is a population that I, I truly believe. I chose a life of public service. I have been so fortunate and blessed to have a career in public service in helping others. And here I get to help a population that um, is forgotten about by society, society's given up on, or even worse, just doesn't care about anymore. And I get to help them turn their lives around to to get them to feel like a human being again and to feel like they're valued and they can actually get back into society. My greatest struggles are being frustrated by the fact that there aren't resources in the community to help these people before they have to come to me. I get frustrated by the fact that we can do great job inside with best practices, innovative data-driven programming that shows it works, but when we put them back outside, there's not the supports to help them out when they get back out there. That really frustrates me. A lot of these people that are broken can be repaired and then they will be back with their families. They will be back on their jobs. They will be paying taxes. We won't be paying for them to be incarcerated and they won't be um, creating new offenses. So society will be safer, uh, stronger, um, and just quite honestly, this type of society that I'd like.